What's up, brothers and sisters? You know it is. Eddie from 802 Diesel Crew. Today we're going to do a toolbox tour. Um, you guys wanted to see an update tour, so let's get into it. So the hutch top has stayed unchanged. Uh, I think everybody has some variation of these uh, headlamps. Uh, you know, this is Snap-on, I think. Easy Red makes a brand. Uh, Matco and a couple others. Um, these Milwaukee scissors are the bomb. I would suggest those to anybody that needs to cut fabric or nylon or anything really they're uh they're pretty stout through here we've got a bunch of different variations of uh pry bars huge snap-on uh breaker bar got my workstation a uh, huge power strip um kind of overboard but that's all right top shelf is kind of for return parts um and extra storage uh, and then to the left side, I have my lockout tag out for the machines I'm working on and extra gloves. So the left hand drawer has, uh, I have extra gloves, a full set of grip metric and standard inch and five sixteenths up to two inch, 34 millimeter up to 50 millimeter. Got a nice, uh, Flexzilla, uh, air truck system for filling up tires, extended hose. So you don't have to be right around the tires. Uh, Got a little vacuum here, air vac, so I can hook up to different, uh, you know, hydraulic systems, fuel tank, um, and even, let's say, coolant system. Have different uh, variations of things I can use to pull vacuum on, uh, you know, even breathers, per se. Uh, you just got to really watch how hard you're sucking on different uh, tanks because... If they're, well, even if they're metal, but if they're plastic, you can run the risk of cracking them. So you have to really babysit it and get it to the right uh, tempo, I guess you could say. So here's one of my favorite drawers, obviously, ratchets. Um, the newest addition would be this little guy right here. The And I've done a video before on this. The FC F72. Pretty sweet little guy right here. Uh, it's got the quarter body with the three eighths head in it. And then overall, nothing else has really changed in here. You know, I just have a good variety. Um, these guys right here, the SH LX ADA and its brother, this is the non-locking, are uh, go-tos for bigger half inch stuff. And then my, I think it's FX ADA is uh, definitely another go-to. But they all get their uh, general use um, different days, different applications. Next drawer down from that is uh, stubby ratcheting. Those are blue point. Got some stubby grip. I was looking to fill a set and it didn't really work out. They kind of pooched, pooched me and gave me two 9 16ths and not the ones I was looking for. Uh, full set of expert, 8 millimeter up to 18. Well, I guess 19. And then from 5 16ths up to one inch i've had no complaints with these um they rival i'd say the gear inch versions um but have had very good luck with them i uh, use the 16 all the time 18 19 uh 5 8 11 16 and 15 16 all the time so they are great next drawer houses the you know the files and my punches Snap-on stuff has been great. Uh, Harbor Freight, uh, you pay for what you get. Um, I'm not going to say they're bad, but for using them every day, um, the metal is brittle compared to the snap-on stuff. So it's a pretty self-explanatory drawer there. Uh, this is my kind of electrical drawer for fittings for CAT um, and hydraulic fittings. So this is O-Ring Boss. I just have a variety of O-rings that I use often at work, so I don't have to wait for an order to come in from the um, warehouse. Uh, I got some stuff for radios, uh, miscellaneous uh, fuses and whatnot, and then O-ring face. I do have a smaller breakout kit right here. You know, I've kind of, obviously you can see I'm, I stay organized. Everything has a part number, and I have it all laid out like that. The bigger kit is uh, all the different Deutsch connectors that we use. Um, have all kinds of different pins. Come on. 
and connectors. I think I have up to 12 pin connectors right here and down to two pin over here, male and female. It's a whole big kit. Um, you know, it covers all these different sizes right here. Probably my favorite drawer here, uh, power and pneumatic. We've got a M18 fuel grinder, corded grinder from Milwaukee. Uh, their light, their uh, drill, and the Big Dad with the 1400 reverse torque. Love that thing. If you guys are ever looking for uh, cutting discs, these Walters are awesome. There's the part number right there. They cut and last forever and they don't explode, which is a big thing. Uh, got a half inch uh, Ingersoll Rand, three quarter, a Mac, uh, like a zip gun that I haven't used ever. And then my Snap-on Air Hammer, which I love. Uh, and these boxes are just more uh, air tools and my die grinders. I use these all the time. Ingers Ingersoll Rand, as long as you oil them, they're great. And then the case below that is going to be just more, um, you know, extra grinding discs and all that good stuff. I try to stay organized and keep everything, uh, you know, easy access so I can move along quickly during jobs. <laughs> this is how the drawer usually looks. I kind of fumbled the first video. Uh, <laughs> my welding helmet kind of pulled everything out, so it was kind of funny. So this is the drawer that people like a lot. I have a good variety of uh, everything from Craftsman, Snap, Mac, Expert, and Super Chrome SK in the middle there. Some of the highlights here. You, got, uh, you guys saw these, my magnetic, magnetic extensions. I like those. Uh, over here I have a T40 and a T30 Mac, those BRT bits. Um, They've been working great so far. I haven't stripped anything out. And using them in stripped fasteners has been all right. Uh, specially made here. Snap-on quarter inch T30 with a stubby end in it. Uh, I have some areas that this comes in real handy. Love my Milwaukee gang in the top drawer here. Uh, go to right here. You can see this thing has been used and abused. Still kicking and ticking. Um, what else do we got? Just a good variety to get me kind of through the day. If I was to do it all over again, like I said, probably would stay with this side of the box and could cheap out over here. But uh, when I was going through school, it was such a good deal that I just couldn't pass up not getting what I wanted. So there's my top drawer. Same thing with the wrench drawer. You know, got a good variety of snap-on. I uh, got some gear wrench. These are the extra longs. Uh, snap-on for metric. Never use those line wrenches. I uh, got some Craftsman back there. Gear wrench, and then pretty much a full set of snap-on angle wrenches. Awesome, awesome for doing hydraulic work. Have both the metric, which I don't ever really use. And the standard, which I use all the time, unless I can find a metric that kind of matches up to what I need. Um, good buy there. Uh, like I said, probably don't need the metric. Definitely need the standard if you're doing hydraulic stuff. Love my screwdriver drawer here. Um, nothing's really changed here. You know, it's a green monster. Green tools matter. Uh, probably... The most used tool is these Mac little pry bars. Um, they're strikeable. Uh, they really help with lining up shims for buckets on excavators and loaders. So those are probably the most used aside from, you know, general uh, screwdrivers and whatnot. And then these are pretty cool. These are for uh, getting into your wiring harnesses and your wiring fittings and, uh, kind of popping those deutsches out so they can pull the wire back through the back we can kind of do a demo of that sometime really fragile so i really take care of those um you can really deform them pretty easily they don't really warranty those that much so per se my um snap-on guy uh 
these have come in handy once or twice. Kind of one of those buys that you know, just kind of happened. And I use my picks a lot. And uh, these, you know, like the interior pin poppers are, you know, hands down, they're good. I don't really care the brand. Um, I happen to have snap on ones here at home. I have, uh, they're either easy red or gear wrench, but that's the screwdriver drawer. Some people might say wasted space. I say clean and neat and I have everything that I need in one spot. And another bonus, uh, these, what are they called spoons? Yeah. Spoons. I use these all the time for, um, like the boss o ring boss and o ring face. Um, just doesn't mess up the o-rings so not that i don't use new ones anyways but i do like those hammer drawer pretty unchanged um you know everything is getting that used look on it um tape measures have have held up very well um gonna have to get a new let's see there's a metric one the metric one is starting to stick on me a little bit here but uh, they've been great, and they have a lifetime warranty, so my guy's good about warrantying them. But, uh, you know, it's kind of my drunk drawer. Extra keys, you know, different things that uh, I need during the day that don't really belong anywhere else. Ooh, the plier drawer. Got a good variety in here. Everything from Mac down to Harbor Freight, um, Vice Grip, and beyond. Uh, down through here, some of my favorite are these, these snap-on right angle right here. I only use these on uh, zip ties. You know, I hate running my hand down into uh, space and getting cut up by a zip tie. And then I had bought these snap-on ones. I mean, they're both snap-on. But uh, these are better for cutting, like, uh, not nylon, that plastic woven harness. You can kind of slip these in there and kind of work them up through. These are real nice. Uh, what are they? 786 seven, six CF. And then, of course, I got wire strippers up the butt. And then uh, these are Mac. There's like a plier set. Um, got some vice grip stuff over here. You know, got your bigger Cobras, the, the huge Cobras. You know, like, is, <laughs> you know, they're just huge. And only new new thing i guess well all that green stuff's new since the last videos and then there's this deutsch cramper that i forgot to show you when i opened the uh, power drawer i got all my molded cases in the next two drawers uh a heat gun or sorry an infrared gun uh quarter inch set right there my favorite mac set here is this what is it i think it's 123 piece this i use this all the time um cannot go into an interior without that and then i got the lang set the rethread set perfect bolt grip set haven't used that much here have used it on a couple cars gear wrench set here with every uh you know allen head you could ever think of torx locking non-locking uh safety uh, pretty nice laying internal external snap ring player set This is the infrared thermometer. Good for testing bearings, testing exhaust, um, hydraulic systems to see if it's heating up. Uh, got two, actually I got three torque wrenches. This is gonna be just like the, your click, tie, click style, up to 100 foot pounds. Got a tech angle in the black chrome kind of. I love that. And then I have this little baby quarter inch that goes up to, 
200 inch pounds. And this, the mat drill bit set here, this is a, this is a pretty good set too. Um, forget what size they don't. And for whatever reason, I think it's either inch and an eighth. I think it was inch and an eighth. They don't warranty down to, but everything above they do. And uh, our guy's been real good about, I'm always breaking bits. Um, you know, it's just the cost of doing business here. We're going through thick metal and you don't always, you can't always use our mag, um, our big mag drill, magnetic drill. So you're not going in straight. You catch one of those edges and before you know it, you're snapping something. Uh, I noticed thing in here, everything else is the same. You know, I have the really big tap and die sets, metric and standard, the 117 piece max set um these just kind of like i acquired these smaller sets uh got a i think master cool actually makes this um flaring tool but i got it from mac when i was in school uh then there's some miscellaneous stuff but this grip set has been pretty good for the price i uh, got some stud extractors you know just your run the mill extractor sets and uh screw extractor you never have enough pry bars or lady slippers here i uh, got all my bits for my air hammer uh two new purchases these extra long uh the blunt end and sharp end from snap on my guy says you can cut those down break them bend them and he'll replace them uh and just some general you know exacto knife over here box cutter uh, straight razor blades. I uh, got the scrapers. Easy Red been great. I've seen them on the Snap-on truck rebranded as Blue Point, but we know where they come from. Same three-piece set. Uh, wicked. Got uh, two of these wrench extenders. Got the the big and the small. I think they're actually in the Mac Flyer. Um, I got them right off Amazon. Pretty good price. Uh, got a full Williams three-quarter set. Uh, I believe these are 32, well, 31 to 36 SK. Uh, got some 12 point, which I've never used really. This snap on three quarter set, never used. Um, I have used the heck out of the three quarter head though. Uh, I forgot to show that, but I do have a, oh God, I'd have to measure it, but it has to be over 40 inches. Uh, for the breaker bar for that head uh, These cat Nylon strap fuel fuel or actually any filter remover are awesome. They cinch down um, Pretty good these over here. Um, I use them on Especially like uh, like haul trucks, you know uh, articulating haul trucks to do uh, let's See if we can get the part number on there the oil pans you put this in there and it pushes up on a, a springed recess and it kind of engages the fuel not the fuel but the oil pan to release the oil it's kind of like a secondary buffer so no dirt gets in there and then uh final drives same thing you screw this in there and it kind of dumps further out past the rim so you're not dumping it into the rim you can kind of make a an oil luge into your pan uh, got a Cummins bit to be able to turn over my engine, my truck for doing different things, uh, you know, valve lash or whatnot. So that's pretty much that drawer. It's uh, wicked heavy, and this box holds up, you know, been holding it great. So no complaints there. Like I said in that last video, box has been great. Uh, here's my electrical and testing drawer. All kinds of goodies in here. Uh, everybody's probably got a kit like this. Um, you know, taking apart different connectors and all little pokers and proddies. I had to laugh at this thing when I bought it because it looked like something my mom had to do uh, when she, you know, used to pull out stitching or something. Um, and I use it all the time for wiring harnesses. Uh, these aren't cat specific, but again, another... Uh, these are for Deutsch connectors going in the back side and you can pop out the, the different pins 
and wires that you need to do or correct or you know if you're taking apart um different connectors and whatnot so that's a cool little set uh got my multimeter you know staying organized like i am got heat shrink I think there's more heat shrink and oh no heat shrink connectors there got a full cat kit down there um and this box right here kind of just um extra things that i keep on hand so uh, if we have fleet stuff come through um i can just come in here real fast got bulbs different switches um and a variety of caps and things like that just to try to you know keep stuff on stock and then replace it this heat shrink is awesome because you can see how it's kind of glazed in there uh, once you heat it up there's like uh, glue in there so it really really becomes watertight we have a variety of sizes i just keep some on hand and i'm sure everybody's got a box a drawer or something that looks like this the wiring nightmare so up here i have a couple breakout harnesses for it's a three pin it's a two pin uh got a starter button my favorite little snap-on actually isn't snap-on craftsman uh soldering gun uh these are cat products right here they're called spoons again for um back splicing into uh a connector sort of like this Let's see if i can do it one-handed here but you can get in here and so you're not messing up you know you never want to poke into a wire so this way you can still get um, a connection on that wire and uh not really disturb it that much with a spoon other than that just have the general leads and you know other multimeters and um you know it's this is kind of a messy drawer as it is so i kind of put everything into one case and then when i have to find one thing it all kind of looks like this again and i put it back in that case i'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that last but not least i just have another uh kind of not overflow but have a bunch of uh harbor freight right angle wrenches uh seems like the inch and three eighths is a hit it seems like everybody's barreling that uh, got some tin tape some uh, other painters tape and then in here is my big overflow of boss and o-ring face uh, you can see here it covers a variety of sizes so i just refill and stock off from that and then go from there the vid mirrors to the right of my box are uh, hydraulic fittings um, extra hardware and then to the left is my overflow so i don't really have a drunk drawer so this houses a lot of stuff uh, i've got cleaning products zip ties another box full of goodies uh, some more of my wiring stuff uh, gloves and ppe got some brake clean pb blaster extra um, securing apparatuses uh, got some rags all your different oils greases anics uh spray paint another uh, soldering kit right there plug kit um some chains my welding stuff and then on the side of my box i have uh, just some straps so i hope you enjoyed that a just quick overview of my box as it is today um no regrets on the box or the tools that i've bought um probably could have gone a little bit cheaper on some of the tools but at the time i was going to school so everything was 50 percent off um so i felt like why not buy it but i do use it i do enjoy it and i do keep it clean so you know it is eddie from 802 diesel crew signing out